Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm bringing you guys my full glam makeup routine. Now this is the makeup I use for like brand events, for when I get like Instagram content and stuff. And you guys have been asking for this routine over on TikTok, over on Instagram. So I thought I'd bring it for you guys today. Let me just say I'm having like a good makeup and hair day because my makeup went 10-10, hair's gone 10-10. No, I have just filmed at the same time my hair routine for a separate video. I'm not too sure which way they're going up. Yeah, today we've got the full glam makeup vibe. I really hope you guys do all enjoy this video. If you do, then please make sure to get the big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Hello, baby face Shan has entered the room. I'm currently trying to kill two birds with one stone kind of vibe. Um, I'm actually filming my hair tutorial, but time to move on to the makeup routine <laughs> as you guys can see i have done my brows believe it or not they only took me 15 minutes today proud as always soap brows and then my maybelline ultra slim pretty sure i done a tutorial in one of my last get ready with me's i definitely done it in my get ready with me with shan i'm gonna do my full glam for you guys which i'm really excited for i love doing a full glam moment at the moment i'm really enjoying either no makeup or full glam bam she's in the room she's here <laughs> foundation i'm gonna be using is the nyx can't stop won't stop for all my full coverage gals if you're looking for a full coverage moment this this is the one i'm going to be using it in neutral tan and true beige just kind of obviously a little bit lighter gonna lighten this up i've got a fresh air of tan on do tan day so can we all please ignore this situation i literally washed my hands last night completely forgot to reapply to the tips i might quickly reapply to the tip going out tonight the tan i've been using by the way just putting you all on this right now run don't walk it is the skinny tan tan and tone is there wonder serum i feel like this is a different wonder serum to the wonder serum i had a while back be incredible it says medium to dark this is one layer she dark i have no words for how good it is i do one layer i don't even know if you guys can see this is the only tan i find that remotely sticks to my chest just applying this to the tips of my fingers because actually i didn't realize how bad it was i prefer the neutral tan as a shade however this is dark so worst case scenario if we've got a dark situation going on then i'm gonna use some instant on my neck but if she is dark never fear tanologist insta glow is here for the sponge don't judge don't judge how dirty it is like me and washing sponges and brushes i just feel like it's in a whole other dimension like it just doesn't happen <laughs> but i am going to be using the dose of lashes sponge guys i swear by this sponge it's a bit inexpensive i've got a discount code it's shanx i will link it down below i'll link all the information down below so you guys can go check them out i'm just gonna oh my god what am i doing didn't fancy no bobby brown face base or no shot until we fall as filter today clearly i missed out three steps so we're gonna rewind a bit um, we're gonna try and have to do this with foundation on my hand which is absolutely fantastic first i'm gonna be using the inky list vitamin b c and e moisturizer just quickly pop that on my skin this moisturizer guys it says it's good for just like normal skin which i'm pretty sure that's what my skin is for a bit of the bobby brown face base now i know shang got it off a of tiktok live the other day and i was on someone's tiktok live the other day where they were doing this for like 40 something pounds i don't know why like i just couldn't bring myself to buy it 40 pounds on a cream sounds so much but realistically like now you know it's one of them things where like right now i'm thinking i so should have just bought it because it's absolutely massive and it probably will last me for the rest of my life do you really think the improvement of my base for, like the bobby brown face base and the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i genuinely think has made such a difference to my overall makeup routine and i never used to be a base gal to go straight in with foundation but i'm so glad that i've switched that up now back to the foundation <laughs> this sponge just blends in foundation so so nicely and i love having like a big sponge all the situation it does kind of irritate me a bit when i'm trying to do my makeup but i mean do what you gotta do i'm just so in love with this foundation long story short guys my nostrum poly is done out she may be a tad on the dark side but it's fine we can fix that concealer wise i'm using the elf camo concealer this is the hydrating version personally my skin got along with both versions i just like the hydrating version because it's hydrating i guess the little thing is kind of like letting this sit go in with some cream contour at the moment i've been using the elf camo concealer in rich chocolate this is just for my full coverage look another alternative that i use which is high end is the huda beauty cream bronzer but i prefer using that on like my no foundation makeup day moments you really don't need a lot of this either so i just apply this to either side try to anyway without getting my hair in it I do do this in sections when i've got my rollers in just because the hair interferes in all ways i'll dry down quite quickly though so you definitely blend it out quick before i do my forehead i am just going to blend out this concealer because like i say it does dry quick if you do let your concealer sit it helps with the coverage put on the concealer just go a little bit more in with the sponge again 
Okay, this is also another little sponge from Dose for Lashes. I use this bit for concealer and then this bit for my cream bronzer. I do cream bronzer on my forehead. And then any excess on the sponge, I do also like drag down to the jaw. I like to bronze up this forehead quite a bit because I mean, she's a little bit on the big side. <laughs> I like to take a little bit of excess on the sponge on like the outer corner of my eye and just blend it up. Wow, thank you. Healthy, nutritious lunch. As you can see, I'm not at uni, not going to the gym, not being a gym gal. Next week, I'm back. It's everyone's favorite takeaway because I just freaking love Chinese and Indian. That they're my top two. I could. I don't even think I could decide between either of them. I need to set my face before I actually eat. I'm gonna put on some cream blush. This is the Morph one in the shade Sweet Scandal. If you haven't got on the cream blush hype yet, then I like you literally need to. It's the best thing. I find my cream blush sits better on my skin. I brush it out with a brush. Just so pretty. Okay, so here is one of my new little makeup tricks. I'm using the Huda Beauty Loose Powder in Banana Bread, and I basically a little bit of this on a brush and just kind of press it into my skin wherever you feel like it I like mainly focus it on my under eyes I just get like a really small amount and just kind of like dust it all over my face also like to go in with a tiny bit of bronzer this is the MAC give me sun best bronzer ever I know I'm late to the hype but it's just incredible so like kind of dust like a little bit of that on my skin not loads go back in with it again I'm gonna drown and when I say drown I mean freaking drown drown my face in the urban decay all night setting spray it was literally so much like you want your face to be pretty much wet and leave it to completely dry in with a sponge and then press in loose powder into my under eyes like i say like this is for a really full coverage moment I also do like down each side my camera's gonna die i need to change my battery and then i'm gonna go in with some more bronzer again i just absolutely love bronzer like if i could just dry my face in bronzer i would even though i've just like chiseled my cheeks with the powder i kind of use this to kind of brush that harsh line out and then just go in with another cheeky duck spring roll in with the nars orgasm x for blush how can i freaking forget it? bronzer in the lid my full coverage moment i also like to brush it kind of up a bit like this one of my favorite steps which is my little brown wing which i literally use this middle shade here in the morph eyeshadow palette take on a little angled brush because my eyes are quite long i just like accentuating that <laughs> say with doing a wing always kind of follow your underneath waterline i'm not gonna lie the wings ain't gone that good today so we're just gonna forget about that. I'm gonna do one of my new favorite steps, which is curl my eyelashes. I'm actually gonna be curling my lashes with the dose of lashes lash curler now they have this little kind of like i want to say a comb like a freaking comb for your eyelashes how cool is that fine this is so good for like separating my lashes and making them look more individual and even though i'm, I'm putting strips on over the top it kind of helps with my natural lashes to blend in a little bit more here is kind of like a little before moment lashes are honestly so dead straight like there's no freaking curl about them I feel like it's gonna be harder to pick up because i've got the like brown wing on but i hope you guys can kind of just see the difference this is how the lashes are looking now like i said i really hope you guys can see if you guys and I mean that's a little bit awkward but I'm gonna put some mascara on them using the falsies lash lift if I'm being completely real like this mascara I don't even know how it's got product left in it I'm pretty sure it really hasn't the fact that the mascara is probably the worst mascara choice to use for this but as you guys can see like my lashes are literally so individual my lashes I'm not gonna lie I'm actually really upset about it because I wanted to come on here and show you guys my new favorite lashes that I'm obsessed with they're called sponsored they're from dose of lashes as you guys know eat live and breathe dose of lashes I swear her newest style is called sponsored and I I've been literally wearing it every single day this week. I have been loving them. Now I'm really hyping these up to the fact that when I was doing my hair, they were literally just both sitting there. I've somehow lost one and I literally have spent over half an hour before I even filmed this video trying to look for it. I do not know where it's gone and I'm so upset about it because I really wanted to like properly show you guys them on camera. If you have some like footage or like photos or something, I'm gonna pop it on the screen so you guys can actually see what they look like because they're a natural aversion to baddie. You guys know I swear by baddie. Baddie are my go-tos, baddies are my favourite, but I thought, you know what, let's switch it up a little bit. Aside. You know, I'm gonna have to part with sponsor for a minute. We all know about Baddie. We all love Baddie. I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys watching this has a pair of Baddie lashes by now. <laughs> and I mean, Baddie, like, it's been a minute since I've worn you. I'm gonna be using uh, the dose of lashes in the style Baddie. I mean, how freaking cute is the packaging, by the way? Like, isn't this the prettiest, like, lash packaging you've ever seen? So, they are like a proper, full on Russian strip lash moment. They look identical to getting your lashes done. I wear these. I get so many people asking me, like, have you had your lashes done? I'm like, no the strips they do a proper lash close-up in case you guys haven't seen baddie which i mean if you haven't seen baddie where have you been actually so fluffy they are incredible do you know what i'm excited for baddie to grace my eyes again who i use again is dose of lashes it is the am to pm glue you need to try this glue if you haven't already it is the best glue i went outside when it was storm eunice like on the actual day the friday of storm eunice 
I was walking towards the wind that was like 45 miles an hour that was pushing me back. It was embarrassing. I nearly fell over. I don't want to speak about it. I came home and my lashes were still literally completely intact. My eyes and that is because of this freaking glow. Like I said at the start of the video, I also have a discount code for all of this. So it will save you guys some money. And I put these on on camera for you guys because they literally go on so easily. I'm sorry about how easy was that. I'm really proud of myself that I just done that because I literally done that in like 10 seconds. Baddies are on and the baddies be looking cute. I'm obsessed guys. Like I say, if you haven't tried these lashes, where have you been? What are you doing? They are the one. I'm vibing. Let's go. I'm just going to brush out what's left of my under eyes because I mean, she be sitting for a while. Also lined my waterline with like a black pencil. It really should have set my face before I stuck on my lashes. I don't know why I didn't do that, but we're going to do it now get way too carried away with setting spray i need to stop my lips are gonna be using the morph liner in sweetheart this is my favorite you guys know i actually live for this liner i live for morph liners in general i think those are sick i'm just gonna pop on a little bit of concealer in the center gloss 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 believe it or not I've switched up my gloss, which hasn't happened for a minute. I've actually been using the Dior Lip Maximizer. Now, I've come back to this one because I came home and the gloss I had was basically empty. I've looked in my drawers, seen this, thought, you know what, let's pop it on. My new best friend. She is incredible. Now, I got this a few years ago. Long story short, we were in Paris and my friend had like a few sugar daddies. <laughs> And he sent her some money and we got ourselves a little deal lip gloss with it. So thanks to some random creepy weird old man. Not lying, this gloss literally gives me life. But how beautiful is that? I feel like as the years have gone on, like since I've got this gloss, I've learned to appreciate gloss more. So I feel like that's why I'm loving this so much more now. It's also like a lip maximizer, so you know, a little bit of a plumping effect. I'm here for it. I don't think I've missed out any steps, but I mean, I probably have. But this is my finished makeup routine. I'm gonna go take my hair out, maybe get like a cute little top on, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. So I popped myself on a little cute top. This is actually from Pretty Little Thing. Really, really surprised with how much I like this. Like, look at the freaking cuffs. Finish my makeup, finish my hair. Like I say, the tutorial for the hair will either be up or is going up. I'm in a really good mood because I'm going out tonight and my makeup has actually gone well. But yes, I'm going to end this video here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video.